chat GPT for improved customer service in logistics. A virtual gathering of brilliant minds and innovators in dedicated conference. I am your host, Mrs. Pooja Singh, and it is my pleasure to welcome you all to this exciting event. Today we embark on a journey of knowledge sharing, collaboration, and inspiration. Without further delay, let us begin by extending a warm welcome to our honorable speakers, Dr. T.P. Sashi Kumar sir and Dr. Prashant Singh sir. First of all, we will know our guest, Dr. T.P. Sashi Kumar. Dr. T.P. Sashi Kumar is on a vision to redefine learning patterns for the current generation under third decade of 21st century, tipped as transform in 321. Despite facing academic challenges and being labeled a bad student, he transformed into a knowledgeable individual with numerous degrees including MSc, MPhil, PhD, LLB, MBA and Mr. Dr. Sasi Kumar's philosophy in life is to flow like a river and grow like a tree. Embracing his struggles as opportunities for success. After a successful career as a scientist in the space, a department, he chose to pursue his uh, passion for teaching and guiding youth. He conducts TPS, the full form is Teacher Parent Student Training Sessions. He authored books and organizes live unconferencing camps, impacting students and professionals from around the world. Dr. Dasi Kumar's dream is to create good administrators and scientists contributing to India's progress. So, a very good morning and very warm welcome to you, sir, in our conference. So, it's over to Dr. Sasi Kumar, sir. Namaskar. Thank you for allowing me to unmute. Namaskar. Namaskar. I must um, congratulate the logistics company Tej logistics and air freight express limited chairman prashant singh ji and i must be thankful to my sister pooja singh for initiating this invitation and then allowing me to share my views on a great topic which is of high importance today i was asked to speak approximately 30 minutes uh, I have jotted down few, I am an academician basically, so we collect information and think slightly ahead of what can and how it is to be used in academics as well as in the industry. So this is what I have done. So innovative ideas, practical solutions, focusing on what ChatGPT can provide for such a company which has got a beautiful slogan i was going through the website and so delivering smiles all around it's such a beautiful um, message the innovation to the world over and over happens from the time immemorial probably in the industrial revolution knowledge revolution and now today is the transformational revolution time. Why I call it as 3, 2, 1? Because people talk about centuries. But today world is moving much faster. You can't talk about centuries. We will have to talk about decades. 
That's why I call it as 3, 2, 1. So, because we are going to discuss about the latest trends, innovations, strategies, specific to the logistics industry, how the industry leaders, experts, professionals, and probably those who are in academics can look at this. I am sure when I looked at the website, like anyone could uh, realize, any logistic industry today looks at the international services. And definitely, the uh, I am seeing the Pooja Singh's uh, uh, picture which shows that aircraft. So, I am sure uh, it's not just international, the domestic like ocean freight, air freight, whatever you have on the roads, rail. Biggest problem probably in such a place like India is like warehousing. Uh, definitely, we have to improve our warehousing, the construction, the logistic construction. How do we make the time-bound delivery? All these are listed in your website. But how much is it happening all across India? How well you can have a beautiful network so that you can expand it to the largest potential using the minimal effort. I'm sure you have got a great consulting process which I have also seen which talks about the supply chain model, networking, the packaging. We have got great institutes for packaging alone. We have got great institutes for the supply chain management. But all together in the context of the 3, 2, 1 probably in the chat GPT, which is not very old. But if you are not going to be the forerunner, I am sure you are going to lose the race. So new logistic setup planning in terms of consulting what we should have is a collaborative approach between many ends which already probably i'm sure in the uh, tage logistics company will have in view the freight forwarding door-to-door -door delivery uh, yesterday what amazon uh, gave me was from the postal department i was asking the postman who is delivering Oh, now Amazon started delivering through postal departments, yeah, because India has got the largest network of postal department. A tie-up will, I'm, I'm sure government will welcome it. Somebody has to push it ahead. So I'm sure you can use both government and the private as well as the people participation together to improve the situations around this uh, world in the way you wanted that to happen. So the the handling of the cargo, which is the major uh, activity which the export-import companies or maybe the logistics companies, the delivery boys to the, the chief of the industry, looks at in a very, very potential, highly uh, innovative techniques which can be used in this. So here, I was very, very uh, glad to see an initiative for enhancing the customer experience, leveraging the chat GPT, which is given as the title for the talk. How do you improve the customer services in the logistics? When we talk about, I was a professor of management long back. So during the time, I remember we always talk about five. One is money and manage, material, man, mission, etc., market and etc., etc. So in this, the customer behavior is that what focus in the management system in terms of the human as M, the first M, man, mission is the technology management. So I'm sure if you can uh, connect to them together, the retail logistics, which has got a huge potential in the country like India or in the whole world, retail, retail is the biggest one. But what is happening because of the logistics and the transportation is not reached up to the level in which it has to, the producer, Either it can be an industry or a farmer. He is not getting the benefit. I am sure the GDP of a country depends on these two factors. So I am sure the logistic company has got a great extent to go to support these to the individual farmer or the industry concerned people and more than that to improve the GDP of the nation. I am sure we are in the race for becoming the fourth maybe the third or the fourth in the national in the international stand uh, international uh, race for the the economy 
the power of economy. The fourth industrial revolution talks about the great potential for India to grow in this extent. So the innovative, fast thoughts on these front from the company like Tej um, Logistics is really applaudable. How do we do the flexible, adaptable, smart, transformational tracking? How do we do this FAST? The word which I used together can be called as FAST. Flexible, adaptive, smart, transformational tracking. And use the, like what we have today, when we travel from one end to the other end, we use Google Map. Maybe 30 years, 40 years, 30 years back in my department, I started making similar maps for the strategic applications for the specific community using the satellite. Because my job is from the satellite, look at the earth and then make maps. That was what fed me for 20 years in the government service. And very specific users. Now today it is open, everyone uses mobile phone to track and then uh, follow the Google. So how is it getting updated? When you travel, we know this is the way to go from this place to this place. But I'm sure Google map will give you alternate path, the speed, whether you have to have to pay at all or online looking at the, the uh, traffic, the speed of the other vehicles, it updates itself and then tell you, you can take the other alternate path, you will be five minutes early reaching your destination. This is what the power of technology today. I'm sure this technology driven, the rapid changing world, if you are not first and fast, the first which I say that forward thinking, innovative, resourceful, strategic teamwork, or maybe the fostering innovative, resourceful student, and that uh, the togetherness of the people who are thinking in this line, your infrastructural resources stimulating transformation in a formative way, which also becomes FIST first. What are the great challenges? Uh, definitely in the logistics company, as I understand from the theoretical point of view, the late or the missed deliveries, inaccurate tracking information, the poor communication and the customer support, the damage of the lost shipments, inefficient return processes. I'm sure all these in the new technological era, instant and accurate it can be made with the response to the customer's queries because it's all online. You don't have to worry about uh, people picking up phone and answering. So you can have computers answering this and the questions are almost common. So you can have uh, such such answering answering missions. So 24 by 7 availability of improved customer support is quite possible. The proactive notifications and updates of delivery status, SMS. Yesterday I was applying for a visa for UK and immediately you have got an extra payment to be done for the SMS uh, updates coming. So you can also make revenue out of it. So VFS does it in that mode. Yeah. And um, personalized recommendations for alternate solutions like the Google map, which I'm mentioning now, tell them what is that you have wanted and where is that it can be, where you can pick up faster than delivering. Efficient handling of return processes and the issues can be easily done. Do we have such institutions in India? Probably I have got a lot of audience from the other part of the world. No, if not directly here, maybe tomorrow people will listen to this. In India, I am basically a career and educational consultant also. And many people ask whether the logistic company has got a great potential, great scope for job. I was looking at what are all the institutes in this context of suggesting students to opt for. I have seen there are no great institutes except for three or four, four or five maximum. I remember one of them is the Indian Institute of Logistics, which is in Chennai. And we have got Indian Institute of Foreign Trades, which is in Calcutta, Calcutta and Delhi. Yeah. And then we have got in Hyderabad, the Center for Logistics and Supply Chain Management. But it is done by ISB, not as directly by any other institute. So these are all mostly private, except that um, Institute for Industries and Trade has got a government autonomous um, body, which is governing it. The Center for Logistics and Transport Studies is being done by the Autonomous Public uh, Institute under, under the Government of Education, that's in Mumbai. And we have got Center for Excellence for Supply Chain Management, which is in Ahmedabad, which is also a collaboration uh, between many, many people. Eh? We have got a, a beautiful setup in India where we have got a trade, we have got uh, uh, no management institutes, different uh, infrastructures, 
different private companies all of them can join together to make a beautiful institute where the management and the technology goes together and then do a lot of research in the institute of logistics where such conferences result in taking action for getting this into the people at the education level so that they will become industry ready by the time they pass out so today what is happening is we want to have children learning in traditional way and then come out and then start hunting for job they get into some institute and then start learning instead of that we should have expertise institutions this is one suggestion which i wanted to make probably we have to look at all the topics which we are now looking today for the conference can be the the syllabus by itself the transport management and operational supervisors uh, supervising them looking at the offshore and the supply base ma managing the the transportation the supply chain management is a beautiful subject in which many of the mba programs done abroad but as an industry as a practical internship programs mba programs in india or maybe technology programs in india are very very limited the managing the road transport fleets are a big problem in india because in their roads are not that great so we need to look at what are all the problems where are all the conjunctions available where are all the problems existing give this feedback to the government and tell them this is how you can make more money probably we can have different roads for only for freight that can happen because uh, because that will have lot of saving of time material management storage if you wanted to get to the farmers item and to the people and the users i'm sure you need to have a probably a different road for such delivery systems and there are people who are ready to invest in this if they are guaranteed by a return on investment in a reasonably good time and we are very good in this uh, if you have not seen the movies and uh, 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 if if the people from other than india have not learned how the bombay the dabba wala works that is one of the best example without mistakes or maybe one mistakes out of million deliveries is what happens there is a beautiful cinema and there are documentaries available about the lunch box which is i think 10 years back 2013 it got uh, released and we have got a, a lot of um, uh, um, documentaries as well as, as well as a, a tedx talk on the delivery system being applied by the lunch box suppliers in the bombay bombay dabba wala that is one of the greatest uh, delivery systems probably proved its success totally done manually without any technology we have to learn the technological aspect or maybe how this can be implemented in technology so that people can do much better much faster much greater without any mistakes the 24 by 7 delivery today we have instant responses required personalized assistance and recommendations on these are required order of tracking and updates are required frequently asked questions have to be put into uh, some dabba so that people can look at it the standard delivery express delivery same day delivery international delivery all these are what the air freight or ocean freight or road freight or rail transportation how do all these together will give a satisfaction and loyalty to the customer how the increased efficiency and productivity helps them to understand what great things can expect from a normal company how do we do this in the cost effective saving valuable data sharing across so that we can use this for different companies all across we have to showcase the real world exam world examples success stories of different companies this is where probably the data warehousing the big data all these can be contributory technologies for this company the highlights of the positive impact of customer engagement in the sales growth the profitability the personalized promotional offers and recommendations or maybe the targeted campaigns of through emails the social media and maybe the feedback from the customer today we have whether it's an authenticated customer what are all the ratings what they give what are all the suggestions what are all the complaints the cost saving of the customer the customer support operation taking the revenue 
growth from the improved customer satisfaction to the returns like a ROI, return on investment, which I am talking about. A great Indian administrator like T.N. Sheshan, in his book on degeneration of India, I remember mentioned that it is not that great space technology what we require. He was our secretary in our Department of Space long back. Or nor the nuclear technology. But what we want is how tomato can be preserved from the farmer reaching up to the customer even if it is delayed for a week. We are a, a, we are a large country with 80% of the people live in the villages and they are all agricultural oriented people. And we are not able to save. One month back the tomato in Hyderabad city where I am staying was 20 rupees and it just raised up to 200 rupees. You can imagine in a month time 10 times the price height but the same tomato in uh, Gulf in Dubai was constantly 60 rupees. So the, we are not able to control this fluctuation. So how do we control this fluctuation? By looking at the technological aspect today, supply chain management, blockchain management, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data, internet of uh, tech, uh, things, AR, artificial, um, augmented reality, virtual reality. How the AI-led analytics for optimizing the supply chain management flow can be implemented with ease is the question what is to be understood. Is that people working in the company should know all this technology to do it? Or is it possible to make it very, very easy, approachable, user friendly and operational friendly? And how this digital transformation in the logistic company efficiently involving all the shareholders, making it a 360 degree logical the logistic supply very 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 smooth how do you enhance the routing how do you increase the efficiency i need to know the technology part of it i must be able to get it very fast i remember long back in my uh, my post graduation we were learning about the the transportation problem in the operation research the statistics subject in 1984 the biggest problem is still uh, still active but solutions are possible only when people use this technology to the greater extent. Otherwise, you will be hunting for your solutions and you will lose the race. The real-time tracking, updates, the interactive conversational assistance, the multilingual support for the customer. Today, it's a, it's a, it's a city with a lot of different language people together unless you can speak to their language if you can understand the language of my customer and i can speak to them i'm sure they will say wow so the seamless integration of all these between the company between the delivery between the industry between the product between the transportation and the branding and your label that is what probably the chat gpt can provide the generative pre-trained transformer the language model developed very recently it's only november 30th 2022 not even a year using the natural language processing the ai research development company open ai company which is from a stanford dropout person at the age of 38 the samuel harris at man has done a great wonder and has gifted a great wonder to the world what is that we can offer? The streamlined communication between the retailer, business and the logistics. How do we do this? Increased uh, uh, data, quota for you, usage, primary access, advanced features, customized fine tuning and dedicated support if you can buy from the chat GPT as a special issue but not what is available in the common in the open platform. There are buyable special uh, packaged items which are available today on chat GPT and train the educate the customer support teams for utilizing chat GPT has to be done parallelly look at the technology what is available give the touch points and the customer interaction and integration of chat GPT in your business at every point every point every nodal points establish clear guidance and with this continuously monitoring the improved chat gpt offers and performance 
by the data analytics what they have taken and given for your company has to be upgraded and used very carefully so real world examples for the business for successfully implementing chat gpt needs the highlight improvements in the customer satisfaction is the prime share specific matrices and testimonials for what is that is to be given so that as an input for chat gpt it will tell you where are all the blocks where people have to look at a cleaning process so collaborative approaches by potential collaborators like business people retailers logistic partners all these people can give data and then can share so you must make sure that my partners also use these chat gpt addressing the various challenges so that their inputs will become my supporting my uh, my my better performance so identify the identi identify the points the pain points where are all the problems uh, the, the where are all the uh, uh, prioritization required identify the specific points in which it is lost the speed is lost the technology is lost next one identify the objectives what is that clearly what we want when we wanted to use chat gpt is it to achieve the implementation including customer service as i said the response communication issue of resolving problems third one probably what are all the solutions what chat gpt can give and which are all the different aspects and different open sources available where we can look at it and learn about it before deciding which option i have to use integrate the capacities and scalability reliability cost effectiveness all these have to become a part of any 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 buyer any deliverable given by any 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 vendor this is what generally we look at it and data collection and training is very essential and look at the chat gpt model in which how the training happens how the utility happens where we can do this and integration with the existing systems we cannot redo the whole thing so slowly we will have to get them into the that's why it's called a transformational process no technology can directly re, uh, replace the human aspect so we must go this in tandem for some time identify the channels identify the models the mobile model apps website social media in which how people can slowly get into this the quality assurance very very essential lot of test process have to happen and monitor and optimize the usage some places where we have priority we have to get into the technology first no priority probably we can take it up slightly later but training and support all of all the people should get so that they will be ready if not today tomorrow for guiding such which such factors they will be ready emotionally and technologically they will start updating themselves this is what has to be done the key performer indicators what we call it as kpi in the standard of industry standards has to be very thoroughly understood by collaborating the courier logistics partners transporters industry customer collaborating all of them together in a single chain establish a regular communication channel this is what is to be done several chat gpt platforms are available or customized integrated uh, for logistic supply what we can look at it is few of them i i will give only the num the names probably people have to look at it and understand how good they are i only have few names which i know because i i, I keep looking at what industry needs or pro probably what an academic uh, activity happens in this world so one is the dialogue flow by the google cloud that can be very recently uh, the natural language processing uh, engine is very powerful and it works fantastic i have got lot of students who are using it abroad in america i was talking to somebody yesterday to find out how is it used in companies where they are working in medical industry in um, uh, generator industry i know in the general developers also use it for understanding how they can implement the similar ones the next one could be the ibm one which gives the watson assistance this also have got great nlp and ai capability the customization options are available industry specific requirements they will take it and then integrate into the platforms of multiple platforms the scalability infrastructure suitable large scale logistic service operations probably the watson assistance is one of the best thing what can be done and the boot press 
it's also very famous the boot press use uh, the visual interference so probably if you want all the fright how it is moving in terms of like a google map show that where my package is the boot press is one of the best cost effective business limited uh, uh, limitations are not there it's flexible and it's scalable and therefore it can be one of the best channels which can be looked at you know the boot itself the robot the bot press uh, it works like a robot for you. And Amazon Lux is another one which the chat GPT served Amazon Web Services, AWS, which is very famous, which is used in the services, looking at customer options and build uh, the conversation of the interfaces between the customer and the um, service provider. The Microsoft Boot Framework is one which is going to be uh, I am sure when you look at uh, the YouTube, a lot of advertisements comes in the Microsoft Boot Framework today. Many companies, many private uh, people who learned this and started training people. But we don't have a training as, in, as, a, as an institute where it is happening. So what happens in India, a lot of private people are training a lot of people by getting a lot of money for them. But as a, as a, as a consolidated effort as a country, as a company can establish such an institute, I am sure all these training will come as part of the academics so that your product from the institute becomes ready for industry and you can directly implement using their support. The Microsoft, Microsoft Azure services provides tools for monitoring, managing the chatbot um, performances. And RESA, R -A -S -A, is an open source chatbot framework which is coming up with a lot of deployment, enterprise level deployment, the cost effectiveness, reliability, everything has to be checked by yourself. So seeing this, the selecting a chat GPT solution for the logistic industry, the logistic industry, considering factors of customization, complexity of what is involved in that company, which probably the common people don't understand. You need a beautiful dialogue between them, understand the system perfectly well, understand the scalable process, because you need to have a very good network for handling increased uh, volumes. So therefore, the chat volumes also will increase. The reliability, uninterrupted services, the cost effectiveness, everything with a budgetary cons without any budgetary constraints to start with, Probably in a long run, look at how much the return on investment you will get. These are all the great recommendations on the looking at what a specific business, like what I understood from looking at your um, uh, website and understanding little bit about the company, what I could suggest and provide to you. Namaskar and Pranams. I think I have used my 30 minutes. Namaskar and Pranams to each one of you for giving this opportunity and I consider it's, it's a great um, opportunity for me to think in terms of what the greatest technology today, the best, uh, most advanced technology can provide as a support to the public use and probably one of the first such um, initiative in India and I salute Tej uh, for such an initiative and calling me for giving a keynote address on this historical uh, conference. Namaskar and Pranams from India. Salute. So, uh, thank you so much, sir, for this insightful information and also introducing various reputable institutes in India. And uh, one more special thanks from me that uh, the way you told all the things is very impressive. So thank you so much. And uh, now, I would like to welcome our, another speaker, Dr. Prashant Singh. So 